Hmm, the distributive property, huh? Uh, well, in mathematics, the distributive property is used to um, take a number that's being multiplied by more than one number added together and sort of split up how the multiplication is being done. Um, for instance, let me that, that, that sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. Uh, for example, 3 times 4 plus 2. Um, the distributive property says that although we can do this by multiply or by adding 4 plus 2 to get 6 and then multiplying 3 times 6 to get 18, we can also do it by multiplying 3 times 4 to get 12 and then multiplying 3 times 2 to get 6 and then adding those two things together to get 18. You'll see that the answer is the same either way. So that's so from a mathematical standpoint, that's where distribution is used. It's used when you have one thing that's being sort of uh, distributed among multiple things inside a set of parentheses. Um, a real-world corollary might be um, uh, you walking into a room with uh, a container of gum. You have a package of gum. You walk into a room and you have a bunch of students. So you have one student with gum and maybe you have 10 sticks of gum and you give each one of those sticks out to one of 10 students yeah each of these students out here gets one piece of gum so you distribute that gum out among the other students distribution means to give out so you can see where that name sort of applies to how the distribution property works we're sort of giving out this multiple of three to each of the numbers inside the parentheses so that's why it's the same word and why it would make sense to uh, to use that term when you're doing this particular operation now the other time you're going to hear about the distribution distributive property is actually when you're doing its opposite which is factoring um, factoring is sort of undistributing um, in that last example we started here three times four plus two and we went to 12 plus 6. That's distrib distribution. If we are factoring, we start with something like 12 plus 6, and we break it up. We say, well, look, 12 is the same thing as 3 times 4, and 6 is the same thing as 3 times 2. So we could say 12 plus 6 is the same thing as 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2, which would be the same thing as 3 times 4 plus 2. So factoring is undistributing. Factoring is undistributing. My handwriting is horrible, sorry. So that's the uses of the distributed property, giving something out to multiple things inside a set of parentheses. And then factoring would be the undoing of that. And you'll do it both ways. There will be times you want to distribute, and there will be times you want to factor.